This video is about uh, another reaction of alcohols and it's known as a sterification. So if you have a look at the word equation there, you can see that the product underlined is an ester and therefore this reaction, because it produces esters, is known as a sterification. The reactants are a carboxylic acid and an alcohol and the products are an ester and water. The reaction requires two conditions and the conditions are heat and a catalyst is needed and the most commonly used catalyst is concentrated H2SO4 which stands for sulfuric acid. So conditions, heat and concentrated sulfuric acid catalyst. I've put a colour coded general equation underneath the word equation now so you can see there underneath in blue the carboxylic acid we have the general formula of a carboxylic acid RCOOH and we're reacting that with the general formula for alcohols which is ROH um, if you've forgotten what the R group stands for, it just stands for a carbon group. So it could be um, a hydrocarbon chain minus the hydrogen, so we can attach, we, we can attach to this carbon here. Um, you'll see, I'll give you some examples later on so you can see what, what, what we mean by that. But essentially, the ester is formed from the, this part of the carboxylic acid and this part of the alcohol. So I'm keeping it very, very simple. It's actually more complicated than that. Um, but just to keep it simple for A-level purposes, we're gonna say the ester is formed from this part of the carboxylic acid and this part of the alcohol. So I'm going to, I'm going to make the water from this hydrogen here and this OH here. Still with general formulae, but now the more displayed formula, so you can see that the structure, the bonds at play. We've got the general carboxylic acid here, R, C double bond O, single bond O, H, and I've drawn the alcohol backwards um, because it's going to help us to sort of identify the water molecule. So remember, to keep this simple, we're going to take that hydrogen there and we're going to take the OH there. So if I just draw a loop around this, there's the water molecule produced that way. And so the ester is formed by the R group from the alcohol joining with this oxygen here, as you can see in the sort of blue green molecule after the arrow. So that's the ester there. So if we look at a specific example now, we've actually specified the carboxylic acid. We're giving it a formula now. So this is one, two, two carbons. So this is ethanoic acid. And the alcohol only has one carbon. And so this is methanol. So let's just apply that nice simple method to create the ester. So let's take out the water molecule and we'll put it over there and join the green and the blue pieces together. So the yeah. ester is going to look like this. We'll have CH3 C double bond O single bond O and then the CH3 from the alcohol would, would go there. So there's the ester there. We're going to have a go at naming this ester now. And esters are notoriously difficult for students to name. So I'm hoping that this video will help you to, to sort that out. So we're going to name this ester. And you can see there that I've written on the screen, esters are named backwards. So you would normally name something from left to right. But with esters, we actually name them from 
right to the left. So the first part of the name is this green part here. Now that's come from the alcohol. And what is this green group called? It's called a methyl group. So the first part of this ester name is methyl. So the methanol has provided a methyl part for the ester's name. And now we'll look at the blue part of the name. That's come from the carboxylic acid. So ethanoic acid has supplied this bit here. And this is called ethanoate. So this ester is called methyl ethanoate. That's the first part of the name from the alcohol, methyl. Second part from the acid, methyl ethanoate. You can see at the bottom of the whiteboard I've added the skeletal formula version of the equation. So ethanoic acid has this skeletal formula, CH3, C double bond O, OH. Methanol would look like this, so CH3, OH. Here's the ester, CH3, C double bond O, single bond O, CH3. And obviously we'll just put H2O for water. And there's the chemical equation using structural formula, CH3COOH, carboxylic acid, plus CH3OH, methanol, the ester, and the water. And my top tip for esterification reactions, always write the carboxylic acid first in the equation. So if you're doing it by displayed formula, you can see the, the beauty of doing that. You could even, in the exam, you could even write your alcohol sort of backwards like that so you can see how the water's formed. But if you're writing um, a structural formula equation, you should really write them the correct way around. But I always, always, always acid, then alcohol. So you can see there's the acid part first. There's the alcohol part at the end. Water, obviously. And the naming, name that bit first, so methyl, and then name that bit second, two carbons, ethanoate. If you have a look online, you can see various explanations of esterification. Uh, one of my favourite ones, even though it's a little bit uh, inaccurate in terms of the actual mechanism of the reaction, but for A-level, it's absolutely fine and it will get you all the marks. If you think of it like this, so when you make an ester, you need to replace the hydrogen of the acid, so we're going to take that off, with the carbon group from the alcohol, so this bit here. So replace the hydrogen of the acid with the carbon group of the alcohol, and of course, that's what you would get. So let's apply this now to something more like what you would see on an exam paper. So we've got a carboxylic acid and an alcohol reacting together in the presence of concentrated sulfuric acid and heat. So think about what the products of the reaction would be. What would they be called? What would they look like? There's the names of the chemicals, so you can check whether you've got that right. And there we have the products of the reaction. So this is what our ester would look like in terms of structural formula and obviously water. And there's the name of the ester. So we're naming this ester back to front. So ethyl propanoate. There's the displayed formula of the ester. So you can see the displayed part of the ethyl group and the displayed part of the propanoic group. And there's the skeletal formula, CH3, CH2, C double bond O, single bond O, CH2, CH3. Got a more difficult example for you now. So we've got carboxylic acid, and we've got our alcohol, in the presence of heat and concentrated sulfuric acid. 
So we are going to get an esterification reaction, but hopefully you can see that the alcohol is actually a secondary alcohol. So this hydroxyl group here is bonded to that carbon, and that carbon there is bonded to these two carbons here. So that's what makes it a secondary alcohol. So have a think about what the structure of the product would look like. What would the ester look like? We don't have to name this type of ester. We would be expected, and I've seen questions on this before, to draw the ester produced from this reaction. Now the best thing to do if you're faced with a question like this is to spend a little bit of time to draw out the displayed formula and if you remember the way I positioned the alcohol to the carboxylic acid at the start of the video you can see what I've done there with the propan 2 hopefully that's going to make it very very easy to establish what's going to happen here so I'm going to take out the water And there you can see the structure of the ester. So instead of the, the join being at the end of the molecule, as, the, as is the case with primary alcohols, where the OH group's on the first carbon, the join, so the join between the carboxylic acid and the alcohol, is actually, in this case, in the middle of the molecule. It doesn't matter where the OH group is, it could be anywhere, but if you think of it like that, it makes it a lot easier. Remember, you don't, you don't have to name esters like that. It's just the, the esters formed with primary alcohols and carboxylic acids that you would have to name. So let's go for a really ultra nasty one. I don't think I've ever seen anything as difficult as this. But if you apply the rules, it's not difficult at all. Carboxylic acid, alcohol. Concentrated sulfuric acid and heat, we're obviously going to get an ester and water formed. Position the alcohol so that it faces the carboxylic acid. Take out the water and there's the ester. And of course we mustn't forget the water. Sometimes you're asked to show clearly the ester bond and obviously we would need to draw the molecule like that to show the seedable bundle and the single bundle.